If you ever watch a TV show or a movie about trial, they always have that surprise witness that comes in at the last minute and wins the case. But in real life, it's very rare to have a surprise witness. And the reason for that is that all of your exhibits, meaning your documents, and all of your witnesses must be disclosed well before trial takes place. In fact, that's really the reason for the discovery process. So the discovery process is meant to provide a way for all the parties to disclose all the information that will be relevant come time of trial. And before you head into trial, you're required to make up a list of all the documents that you intend to use and all the witnesses that you intend to use. So very rarely can there be a surprise document or a surprise witness in a real trial in a trust and will matter. Keep in mind that if you're asked to disclose a document or witness in discovery and you refuse to do so, then you may be precluded from using that document or using that witness at time of trial. And that's why it's important to disclose that information when asked in discovery so that you can also use that information at trial. The only time when a surprise really can take place in real life is for impeachment purposes. So if somebody is lying, they're not telling the truth, and you have a document or another witness that you can use to impeach that person, then you might be able to bring that in without the other side knowing. But for a vast majority of trial purposes, all documents and all witnesses are going to be known or should be known by both sides.